Hi, today I want to do a very quick review on a tent I bought back in early 2020. This is the Berghau Cheviot 2 and you're watching Amateur Explorer. Okay, so the tent itself is an alloy pole, exoskeleton, semi-geodesic shape, twin skin, dome tent, which makes this an incredibly strong uh, tent. And with its low profile shape, it makes it a really good uh, choice in high winds. So this is a 5,000 millimeter hydrostatic head. That's the outer fly and the bathtub inner. And apparently can be set up in seven minutes, which we'll find out in a second. Now, with this strength of being a semi-geodesic tent, alloy pole and a thick fabric construction, there is a trade-off. It's weight, it's hefty, it's about 3.1, 3.2 kilos, which for a backpacking tent is quite a lot. I've got an MSR Hubbard NX, uh, which is a one-person tent, and that weighs in about 1.1, 1.2 kilos, so this is nearly three times the weight. Right, let's see what the weight of this tent actually is. Zero. Okay, 3.06 kilos. One of the downsides to these ultra lightweight tents is the cost. The MSR Hubbard NX uh, at the moment is currently going for 470 pounds. This, at point of filming, is 155 pounds. So quite a big difference in price. That being said, they are different tents. This is advertised as a two person tent. Wouldn't fancy it myself whereas the NX uh, from MSR is most definitely a one-person tent, more like a coffin inside. So, let's set her up and have a look inside. There she is, all set up. Now that took me just over seven minutes. Now I've put the guy lines out, which is something I very rarely do. Um, it's such a strong design, you really don't need the guy lines unless it's very blowy. So let's go over some of its features. So for ventilation, you've got a flap under underneath here, which has got a Velcro strut to keep it up, allowing a bit of ventilation. We've also got ventilation under this flap here. So inside, we've got a zip panel for a bit of additional ventilation. Just about to see a fine mesh there. Now the whole inner fly even though it is a mesh, it's extremely windproof. The temperatures you get in here, even in the winter time, are much higher than outside. I just wanted to quickly touch on the ventilation of this tent. There are front and rear vents. I never faff around too much trying to set them up properly. The inner mesh, as windproof as it is, the, I've never had a touch of condensation inside this tent. The outer gets absolutely saturated inside always bone dry. Inside space it's okay but just okay. I'm five foot eleven sat upright and my head is touching the inner fly at its highest point. Down the foot box very low. If you're using a thick sleep pad you'll find your feet will be touching the ceiling. So the vestibule area is quite a good size. It's got its own vaulted ground sheet, which is part of the inner fly. Only thing you do need to do is peg it out separately with some pegs. 
if you try and use these outer ones to the outer fly, this becomes too slack or this becomes too taut. The door itself rolls away, tucks under, under nicely under the storm flap. It can be extended straight out and using the eyelets uh, and some trekking poles or sticks, you can create a porch area, which is ideal for wet nights when you're trying to cook. So, pitching the tent, as you probably saw, I did outer first, no pegs down. With the wind, that was probably a bit of a mistake. Um, but you have the option with this one to leave the inner fly inside, so when you do build it or erect it, it's already in place. The fact that you can put the tent up without having to peg it down is quite useful. Put it up, put it into your final position, and then peg it down. It works great as long as it isn't too much wind around by today. So, in summary, I think this tent is worth the money, definitely. If it's a beginner solo wild camping tent you want, it's perfect. If you want a stealth camp, I'm not sure bright red's the right colour for you. It is cramped inside for height and for length. Width wise, for one person, absolutely no problem. Vestibules, plenty big enough for all your kit. Dirty, muddy, wet boots. She's 100% proof, condensation free, great in the wind, and I don't think we'll go far wrong with the Burgals Chevy Op 2. As I've said before, I'd probably use this 40, maybe 50 nights. It's not been used anywhere too challenging, um, the ground's always been pretty flat and forgiving, um, but there's absolutely no sign of wear, tear, stitching coming undone any signs of leaks. I think I've reproofed this once, maybe last year, and that was just because it was convenient to do it then. It's ever so easy to put up. Uh, it does take about seven minutes to erect. That's if you haven't got the inner in already. You can probably shave a good minute or two of that if you were to leave the inner flying ready to go. So if you can cope carrying over three kilos round on your rucksack, for your solo camping trips, highly recommend it. I, I hope this has been of some use to you guys out there. When I first started looking, there were no reviews on this tent whatsoever. Um, about nine months, 12 months ago, there seems to be quite a lot popping up on YouTube now, so I'm, I'm a bit late to the, uh, the game, but I still hope you find it useful. So, thank you for watching. This is my first proper YouTube video I've ever done. I'm trying to get to grips with the camera, with the wireless microphones. I know the wind's been really strong today. I've got no idea if any of the audio will be picked up. Um, so bear with me. If you've got any comments to make, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.